This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, including my new bucktail fishing course. And you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, so what you're going to see here is an hour and two minutes of fishing. I'll crunch it down to whatever the length of this video is. Um, you know, something, I'll get into this uh, approach with the bucktails, and I want to talk a lot about working a rip. Uh, well, you're going to see something really bizarre on this particular uh, fish. I'm, I'm going to reel in a, a fish here, but... What you're going to see in the foreground is a sea robin jump clear out of the water, which uh, I'm not sure I've seen that before, but it's bizarre. So let's just get through that, and then I'm going to talk more about the technique and everything. Better. I hope that came out on video. <laughs> That's a sea robin. <laughs> he came right out of the water. Yeah, that was strange. Um, all right, let me tell you the setup here. I've got uh, maybe seven or eight feet of water to my left, and then it goes off a ledge to uh, at least 20 feet. And uh, you're going to get to see plenty of casts here. And um, I'm not really going to be retrieving this bucktail. It's an ounce and a half bucktail. I can cast this thing really far. I've got a uh, pretty good southwest wind kicking on my back, so I can really push push it out there. Um, but what I'm trying to do is just let it settle. A lot of the hits, most of the hits, are going to come when the bucktail is just falling. Um, I'm carefully positioned on that ledge, so I'm throwing to um, somewhat shallower water, but as that bucktail is sinking, it's actually going deeper. Then what you'll see is I'll be like... It's going to look like I'm trying to bounce that bucktail on the bottom, but I'm not. Uh, all I'm doing is I'm trying to keep it up off the bottom because I know as I'm maintaining contact with it and it's drifting down current that the water's getting deeper. So basically I'm trying to, you know, before it hits the bottom, give it a little yank, bring it back up, let it settle. And uh, then if I sweep it uh, a little farther down current and I don't get hit, uh, I'll take a couple of cranks. But at that point, I'm going to burn it in. I'm not going to waste time retrieving that bucktail all the way back. And a lot of times, in a current situation, that's what you need to do. You want to maximize your time in the strike zone. That's what this is all about. Get it out there. Let it settle. And try to work that rip. <sighs> Very few blue fish here, so this was probably a decent bass. Wow. Yeah, keep in mind, nice fish is relative to the part of the season. I mean, right now, there's not a lot of big stuff around. So I've been seeing a lot of schoolies, so this is a good one. Yeah, maybe you can see the graphics on the rod. So that's the, uh, the John Skinner rod made by Dark Matter. There's a link in the video description. Uh, I've showed it quite a few times last year with pencil poppers, but, hey, I designed it, so it's going to be a really good bucktail rod as well. And, uh, yeah, ounce and a half is great on here. We'll go down to three-quarters of an ounce. Three ounces would be no problem. Uh, but, yeah, it's working out great here. It's going to be a slot fish, I think. Yeah. Nice bass. Real close to it. That could be over. Over slot. Yeah, the relatively new slot limit is uh, 28 to 35 inches. 
Yeah, he probably doesn't make 35, so he's probably uh, one that I can keep. I, I don't keep stripers. Uh, I'd much rather eat fluke, even porgies, but I let all of these guys go. Bye. Okay, when this cast hits the water, I'm just going to, I'm going to real quickly to pick up the belly in the line caused by the wind, make contact with the bucktail, and then just hold it. Watch that tip. You're going to see a tap. Just a tap. There it is. There it is. That's it. That's all there is to it um, when they're hitting on the drop like that. All right, and if you didn't get to see that, you, you'll get to see it again, and also you'll get to see what happens when I don't get tapped earlier on um, on the cast. All right, I can use some user input here. Um, you know what? There are parts of reeling in a fish like that in a current, winching them in, uh, nothing to see there. Um, I can cut those out. I could speed them up. I kind of like speeding up uh, long, continuous segments of fishing so that people can see what's going on and get, get a feel for it. Um, but I'm curious as to, you know, some people say, hey, I really like the speeding up. Other people say, stop speeding things up. Um, so, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know. And uh, depending which way it goes, I'll either cut parts out or I'll speed through them. All right, so here's a cast where I, I'm not going to get hit, but um, I want you to see how I'm going to work this cast. Here I am. Sink, sink, sink. I'm going to pick it up because I'm figuring it's getting close to the bottom. Give it a little touch there, but it's still, as it's going down current, it's going into deeper water. All right, hit a little bottom there. And now I've gotten in, I've probably moved it on such an angle that it got in a little closer where it's shallower. I could feel bottom. That's it. I'm just reeling it in. Burn it in. Don't waste time. Get out there. Make another cast. Yeah, and there's really two edges here. There's the one that's running perpendicular to the beach, which is causing that rip. That's the drop that I mentioned where it goes from like 7 feet to 20 feet or 20 plus feet. But the other one is there's one that runs parallel to the shore. So as it runs, as that bucktail swings down current, it gets into shallower water that way. But that's two edges, two places to catch. Now most of the fish on this trip are going to come on that drop, that w the edge that runs perpendicular to where I'm standing. But that one was caught down current to where the bucktail is swinging in and it's reaching shallower water that way. So there's that edge and, and that's how that fish was picked up. But I'm only going to get a couple of them um, that way on this trip. No, oh, but that's the cool thing about a bucktail. You know, you can like, uh, with like surgical precision, put that thing where you want it. And, you know, a, a bucktail swims in all different kinds of conditions, whereas, you know, plugs, y you need water pressure against them a certain way to get them to swim, and depending on the plug. And uh, But now the bucktail, it's a uh, pretty simple thing, and, uh, yeah, yeah it, it just looks good, and, and it works. As usual, the barb is crushed on that, so uh, I can just like flick a lot of those fish off the hook. Yeah, this guy looks like he's hooked real deep, but again, crushed barb, all I need to do is push that bucktail back. I mean, the hook's actually on the roof of his mouth. So once I grab him by the lip, 
push the bucktail back, it's basically going to fall right out. Just push it back, out it comes, nice and easy. All right, something else I want to focus on is uh, fishing rips, and it's really important to move like up and down along the rip, like basically in this situation, left and right, to try and find um, you know the piece of structure that's causing it. And you know, it, it's anybody's guess as to where those fish are going to be. Yeah, a lot of times they're going to be right on the drop, right where that fish was, um, but you know, not necessarily. And you got to make a couple of casts, move a few feet. Make a couple of casts, move a few feet. It, you know, it took me 30 minutes to get um, really set on these fish. You know, I, I went through maybe 20, 25 minutes of nothing, and then I you know, had a small, I had another small, and then I just got on that edge, and you could feel it. You know, if you moved a little too far to the left here, you, you realize your bucktail will hit the bottom really fast. And if you move too far to the right, the bucktail would, like, basically Sorry. almost I don't say never that. make it to the bottom but it will take a long time um, but it's a matter of finding the sweet spot and the only way to find it is keep moving up and down on the rip all right so I'm not retrieving it all here when you see me make a lift of the rod, I'm going to take a crank or two right, you know, right there just to pick up whatever line I got from making that move. And but otherwise, that jig is just somewhat free-falling and sweeping. And, and so here, you know, there's a, the thing about the bucktails. You know, I mentioned how you can zero in on locations. The most important thing is you can zero in on depth. And there aren't many lures um, that you can do that with. All right, so I've pretty much gotten past the drop-off where I get most of the fish. But now I'm going to get that spot right there where the jig is swinging to my right in closer, and it's reaching that other edge where it starts coming up and, and getting a little shallower, and that's where I got that fish. I had one several casts ago um, along that same edge, pretty much the same spot. This is my favorite kind of fishing. I mean, it's pure structure. There's no birds. There's no breaking fish. There's nothing, you know, no sign of anything. Everything is hidden. 
you have to figure it out. When you do figure it out, it's just very satisfying. That's definitely a keeper. Mr. Slot, go by. Go bye bye. His bucktail's caught. Just too many fish. slot fish. Especially since I'm fighting them up current. He should get heavier when he goes down current. slot. No doubt about it. Nice. Oof, look at the girth on that, huh?
got the potential to be another one. Now, if this isn't a keeper, it's going to be very close. Yeah, that's definitely in. Huh. There's no doubt about that. Okay, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And please check out my new bucktail fishing online course at saltstrong.com slash skinner.